I'm gonna install MicroShift Sword on my Bombora. Um, just came in the mail, I was checking it out. Um, <clears throat> as you know from the other videos I've done on this bike, um, it's got a SRAM GX Eagle set up with this Paul uh, SRAM shifter mount thing. That's kind of like a unique thing that no one really does. Um, and there's a reason for that, which is that it's kind of awkward. Like you have to take your hand off the bar and move it to shift. Um, not the worst thing in the world. I actually got pretty used to it. Um, I was just telling my friend that I got used to like moving my hand and shifting and I was doing it on other bikes that have the shifter here. Kind of funny. Um, but anyway, I want to try something new and sadly I'm going to be losing the beautiful TRP RRL levers. Um, but we got to try something new, mix it up. So I'm going to start taking the bike apart and <clears throat> get ready to unbox the sword stuff. There's that GX derailleur. It was in really good shape before I started riding this bike. Um, I got it from a buddy who's pretty meticulous and, um, I guess Bolinas Ridge kind of ruined it. I mean, it still works. It just, uh, a twig, a, a big stick got in there and wreaked havoc. So, um, the cage came off. I had to clip part of it. It was bent out. And then I guess I lost a tooth on that pulley there. I think it's still like, oh, the B limit's all fucked up too. Like when you try to screw it, the, the, the screw itself is all bent and who knows what happened there. Um, I'm going to use this on a different build. It's not totally dead, um, but yeah, today it's it's uh, taking a break. All right, <clears throat> so I got the Bombora. You know, I got the stuff taken off. It's just kind of hanging out now. Ooh, I gotta take the cassette off too. But in any case, I'll do the, like a quick unboxing of the Micro Shift stuff. So there's the receipt, paper, there's the box looks like. Boom, there it opens, got these. Sandwich bags on there. Sandwich bags. <clears throat> Boom. It, uh, it's ugly. I mean, it's better than others, like the other micro shift drop bar group, but I think it's, it looks like GRX, and GRX is fugly. Let's take a look at the, I haven't seen the uh, <clears throat> derailleur yet. There's a, uh, the chain. Oh, it's not even a micro shift chain. Do they not make chains? Uh, here is the uh, whatchamacallit, the rear railer. Uh, let's see here. There it is. Not bad. Just looks like modern mountain bike derailleur. Black, big. Um, Tech, technical looking. There's a full picture of the group. Um, after taking apart the shifter box more, I realized they included some housing uh, cables and cable ends. So that's cool. I like when they do that. Um, I'm going to still try to use the old stuff just so I don't waste it, even though that's kind of a, you know, you're not supposed to do that, but I've always done that. Never had a problem. So suck it. Um, pretty straightforward. I have an X cassette, 10 speed. So this is going to be a one by 10, not an 11 or 12. I had 12. We'll see how the 10 does. I don't think I'm going to even notice, to be honest. I mean, the, the jumps between gears look more substantial. Like when I look at the 12 speed, it kind of looks tighter. Um, obviously that makes sense. Fewer gears, fewer gears. All right. It's all mounted up there. Um, unfortunately, my beautiful Nissan housing, the kind of like minty green or sea foam or whatever isn't long enough which makes sense because uh mainly because where the shifter was mounted here the cable or the housing only had to go to here now it's gonna have to go all the way into here so i'm gonna go find some more or maybe i'll just use the one they gave me that's black oh well can always upgrade that again later something i just noticed is that the cable port for the shift cable on the shifter is nice and large. I feel like every other brand, like I've used Shimano and SRAM, it's always like such a goddamn pain to get to the whole, uh, like it's not, it's not easily accessible like this. Like this is like kind of as much as I can 
comfortably pull the hood back and it's already there. Whereas on Shimano Ceram, it's like still under there and it's annoying. And this, it's like, yes, make it fucking more user friendly. So good job. Although, look at that. Pretty ugly, pretty big, like big, too big. I don't know. We'll see, once it's all done, we'll see how it all kind of integrates. It's all wired up. Um, it's pretty much, you know, almost ready to go. Um, I have the hoods more or less mounted where I think they should be mounted, where the flat part aligns with the flat part of the bar. Um, I'll probably fine tune this once I get ri get to riding. Um, I think it looks okay. Uh, it came together nicely, which is something I appreciate. Like this brand new stuff, you know, you don't know how it's gonna work until you do it. I've heard good things, but the first sort of like personal uh, test was to see how it came together and everything, like just getting the, the cables in was pretty much a breeze. So no complaints there. Uh, I did realize that like the way I routed this is funky. Like basically it'll have to, they kind of have to cross each other, which is, weird and i could fix it but i gotta go ride soon with will so i might not and and just <clears throat> deal with it which i don't think i'll ever notice still gotta install the chain but it's coming together another 15 minutes another thing worth noting in terms of how it comes together here it is that the routing through the derailleur is extra simple i mean it just comes straight out of you know where the <clears throat> housing enters and just clamps right there there's no like like with the um the gx eagle for example i mean i, I love this derailleur but the routing you know it, ha it it goes in there and then it goes through this like ferris wheel thing and then plops out and then it goes through this like other thing and curves in through there and you got to know how to route it through there and then it pinches right there with that bolt so it's like Jesus Christ! Like it's just going for a for a joyride before it does what it needs to do. Whereas <clears throat> with this simple, pops in, gets clamped down. That's easy and nice. I like it. Shifting pretty good. Um, my hanger's definitely bent um, from that stick. You can see maybe it's like bent out to the right a little bit, such that the Derailleur is not, you know, parallel or in plane with the gears. And despite that, it's still shifting well. It's just like something that needs to be fixed. And the the hanger, I already borrowed Will's derailleur alignment gauge, the DAG tool from Park Tool. And the tool doesn't thread all the way into the hanger because that lip right there gets in the way. So <clears throat> Maybe I'll just buy a new one, um, a new hanger or two, just to have them. Uh, or I'm sure a bike shop can help me fix that. Um, but in any case, it's working and it's shifting through all the gears just fine. Um, just got a bent uh, bent hanger thing. So yeah, um, but yeah, let me do it. I'll do it like, I, I guess I don't have the right, put it on my mouth. All right, there it is. Uh, Microshift sword on the Bombora. Uh, looks okay. I don't hate it. Um, I think it's hateable visually, but I'm not feeling hateful right now. Um, I sort of haphazardly put this back together. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna go for a ride with Will right now, so I just threw it back together hastily. I'll redo all this maybe. Maybe new tape, maybe different, uh, different grips. Um, it's pretty, pretty rough there. Um, but it looks cool. I don't know. Shifting seems to work pretty well. Can sort of fine tune it on the fly. Um, it goes with my Claris thing pretty nicely. Um, same color kind of 
Although this is more of like a flat, almost like looks like spray painted, which is kind of sick. Um, versus that's like the Shimano gray. This is a little bit more like powdery looking, like powder coat looking -y. Um Yeah, we're gonna fucking ride it now. I'm headed <coughs> up to <coughs> Twin Peaks to meet up with Will. We're gonna do some trails. Fucking traffic, it's rush hour. So the cars are out, driving fast, honking, getting mad, road rage shit. Um, so far the group shifts pretty well. I can tell that uh, that the derailleur hanger is bent, which it is. That makes it <clears throat> a, bit, a bit crunchy in some of the gears, um, but I'll get that sorted and it'll feel better. Given the fact that the hanger is bent, it feels really good. You can already tell that like the hood shape is really ergonomic, but it like borders on like excessively ergonomic where you're like, wow, that like fits kind of too well. It's like creepy. Whereas the TRP RRLs are more like just like a good thing to grab onto, not like a perfectly form fitting shape. So, it's, I don't know, I kind of miss the TRPs, but I don't miss the SRAM trigger shifter mounted at the stem. The braking feels really good. It feels better with these than the TRPs with my Paul clampers. It feels like GRX. Like I've, I've used GRX a bit, just tried it out and it feels very similar um which is like kind of good kind of bad i kind of fucking hate grx but uh the fact that this is a uh, a knockoff makes me like it more all right that's all i gotta say for now later San Geronimo way, I guess, seems, uh, is more familiar, you know? bike uh yesterday with will i mean we talked mostly we didn't barely even rode but uh we rode the trail down to get back home and um the one thing i noticed when i was like riding the drops or whatever was that the uh it was like too far away so i kind of like didn't feel comfortable like fully letting i don't know i just had to like I, basically i'm gonna try to use this i think that's what this thing is this like screw here um is to push the lever in so that the reach is like more appropriate so i'm just gonna do that and see i don't even know if this is the right bolt i think it is i'm just gonna do it and then hopefully that helps get the uh lever position just a little closer uh it looks like it's moving i'm, I'm looking at the camera right now i think yeah i think that's bringing it closer so um hopefully that helps i'm just kind of like Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that already feels better. Um, just feels like kind of like natural, like closer the way the uh, the TRPs were. So I'm gonna run that. I'm gonna do it on the other side and then give another shot. All right, I'm here in Golden Gate Park. Um, I have a few miles on the new uh, Micro Shift Sword Group. And I wanted to share some, like, initial thoughts, I guess. Um, like, maybe everyone's wondering about the shifting. Um, I think the shifting's fine. 
uh, I, like I think I mentioned it already, but my hanger is quite bent, so that's making it feel imperfect, and I just know that that issue is there, so I'm not like blaming the micro shift. Um, as far as like the shifting quality, like that, the way that the action feels on the shifter, I feel like it's kind of like, it's nice. It's, it's fine. It's not like, it doesn't feel boutique or anything, but it feels kind of like, I don't know, like maybe, maybe like 105 or Sora level, like new, the new Sora, the new 105, just, it's like, it's like good and solid, but not like, you're not, you're not getting like the Dura Ace experience, you know, where it's like, whoa, everything feels like all excellent when you click it. it it feels fine and good it doesn't feel like excellent or whatever and then this like this little uh upper shifter which is like if you want to shift into a harder gear this thing is like fun to play with it's like find myself like doing that a lot when i'm riding and it's like kind of fun but also kind of annoying that it's there because i kind of just want to focus on riding um, I guess it's also weird that this is the downshift. It kind of reminds me of Campy, and I, I'm one of those people that just can't stand Campy. So I kind of want this lever to be the upshift. Um, but what I do like about it versus Shimano is I hate that you shift the brake lever. Like, the brake lever does dual duty for shifting. Um, I think that's really annoying and I always find like oh I'm going to like grab it to do a break and it moves over to do a shift and it's just like let the thing do one thing you know um so I like that this is fixed on one axis it doesn't like break and shift you can't do that at the same time that might be like a downside for some people but I think that's a good thing yeah another thing I'll mention is the hood shape I don't know if I talked about this yet but it's like it's a big chonky hood um I'm kind of getting used to it and I think it feels good in one way, bad in another way. It feels good in the sense that it just feels comfortable. Like even um, going over, like the TRP that I keep mentioning was way narrower and way shorter. And so it was a smaller thing to grab onto. Um, and I think that affected like my comfort on the bike, honestly, at least like my hand comfort. And this is like, um, you know, it's, it's like a little bit embarrassingly goofily big but it is comfortable and so when i find myself riding i'm like oh the bike feels more like marshmallowy like it feels more like jet puffed like um big old marshmallow it's just softer like the bike is already kind of soft because it's got like small tubing um and then this just like makes the whole thing feel even springier and lighter and bouncier because it's just like oh it's kind of like oh wow we're just you know on this big goofy bouncy thing and that that feels a little bit like unrefined in a sense it also feels good in another sense and i think like the goofiness that i'm trying to um cultivate here it like supports that a bit so i'm gonna run it for a bit i'm gonna get a few new hangers from crust i might even try like the crust nulla bar because i think that bar has a a bend that would suit this lever better perhaps um although i do really like these Coralitos bars i've been kind of like shredding on them they feel good for that so we'll see about that um i forgot what i was talking about uh but yeah so far so good i mean it's very cheap stuff i paid like less than 300 like sign sealed delivered from a, a random website like you can't really find this stuff right now um i think it's mostly coming like oem on bikes but there's a, a bike shop in utah that had it uh, I think they've like literally like done the like takeoff thing and like piece the group together from doing takeoffs and then they're selling it as like a you know a box thing. Actually, that's not true because they had them boxed. Never mind, forget I said that. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where you'd find it. I mean, they might still have some kits there. Maybe I'll post a link to that. Um, give them like a shout out or whatever. Um, but yeah, no, this stuff is it's cool. Yeah, it's plasticky. Like. But if you think about it, like any like carbon SRAM stuff is also plasticky. And if you close your eyes, you know, you don't know this is not carbon. So it's, I don't think it's a problem. I think it's cool. It just looks like GRX and that's maybe kind of a bummer. Although it looks better than GRX, you know? I think it looks better. I think this like lumpy thing right here, that's what feels or looks like GRX a lot. And that, I don't know, it's fine. Not my favorite.
All right, so in conclusion, to kind of tie everything back together, um, I like the group. I think it's uh, it works well. It's Obviously, it's priced very nicely. Um, that's why I got it. I wanted something that was sort of turnkey and that was um, inexpensive because I didn't have that much more money to spend on it. Um, it looks okay. I'm, I accept the way it looks. I don't think it's beautiful. Um, uh, but it, it looks okay. It works well. Uh, you don't have to worry about adapting anything together like you sometimes do with Shimano and, and SRAM. So that's nice. Um, uh, let's see what else here. So I've taken the, the group on a, f a few rides. I've gone on a few harder rides in Marin Headlands and uh, in San Francisco. And it, the, the group performs nicely. It's not, like I said, it's not fancy it's not dura ace it's not ceram red it's not campy um but it, it works and uh if you need a group like this like maybe a, a one by or a two by this is it's solid um and i think as uh you know as the bigger brands move towards hydraulic uh, braking and electronic shifting um they don't really offer cable actuated anything anymore uh, unless you go to like the super low end stuff and you, and you, and you, you might say like Shimano Sora or something like that is comparable to micro micro shift sword. Um, uh, but micro shift sword is a little bit more interesting and it's, it's a little more special and nicer looking, I think. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd recommend it. Um, uh, I don't know what else to say other than that. I mean, this is the video is hopefully just to serve as uh, <clears throat> in case you were curious about it and you could check it out and see how, what my experience was like. Um, and I'd say it was positive. Like installing it was a breeze. I did that in like an hour or less. Uh, and I was back rolling uh, on the bike, you know, to, in time for that ride. So like putting it together was really easy. Um it's very straightforward. Even if like you're a noob who's just getting into, uh, you know, doing your own mechanic work, like this would be a great group to learn on because it's very straightforward and simple and there's no curveballs. Um, I would say like the, the downsides of the group are, I think the, the, like the way it feels to grab the hood is a little egregious. Like I think it's too big. Um, like I said, it's ergonomic and some people are going to love that. And, I kind of just feel like it's a little overrated. Like it's, they could have done more to make it look nicer versus making it more ergonomic. I think it's a little bit dorky looking. Um, and, and just the way it feels you're like, man, I've never grabbed something this, this thick before. Um, <clears throat> so that's, that's one area for improvement I see. Um, and then like the, sh the way that the shift paddles are set up or whatever, whatever you might call them, the shift buttons, um, I think that that is, uh, it's okay. It works fine. It's a little bit weird. I'm still getting used to the upper shifter, uh, like, cause no other, you know, Shimano SRAM don't have a, a shifter in that location. So it's just something I'm, I'm getting used to. Um, but it's, it's fine. It's definitely nicer to have a, a traditional brifter versus the, the trigger shifter mounted near the stem like I had before. Um, so yeah, hope you liked the video, uh, like, and subscribe, comment, ask me any questions you might have. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. All right. Peace out.